uh, in the last lecture which is a prerequisite for this we understood how to parse a string in a given uh, language so there is a sentence given in a language in string form how to parse it and convert into ob java object form now in this one we will see how to evaluate that sentence which is in the object form so let's see so an expression can be interpreted or evaluated using this interpret method in which we are passing a map of string and expression so uh, let's see what this map means this map is basically for this variables so this map will be uh, a map of strings and expressions so let's say a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 d is equal to 5 let's say this is the table so this is the map it is representing this table the value of the variables numbers are straightforward numbers let's say it is 9 so the literals mean it is literally meaning 9 but these variables we have to evaluate them we have to know their value and for that we require a table so in java this table is represented in the form of a map and that map we are giving each of our methods that map so that it has the full information of what variable is equal to what 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 is the value of each of the variables and it can easily evaluate them that's why we are passing so for evaluating a number there is no need of this table but for ma maintaining uniformity we are passing this uh, map in our uh, interpret method which is the part of a interface because uh, all of our ex various expressions like plus number variable minus multiply all of them they uh, implement this expression interface we want a common interface hence we have to pass this in all of them because only one of them variable will actually require them but we have to pass in all of them so this is passed anyways it is not using them a number just simply re returns number whatever the literal value of the number is it is the actual value of a number expression a plus expression we have two uh, operands in a plus expression the left operand and the right operand so they can both be expressions also full-fledged expressions that is uh, left expression can be well be minus 5 6 that is 5 minus 6 it can well be and the right expression can be 11 or anything so basically to interpret a minus expression so plus expression we do left operand dot interpret we first uh, get the left operand interpreted whatever the value is we add it to the uh, interpreted value of right operand okay similarly for minus we uh, interpret left so this is the, just the constructor of it and uh, here the constructor is ending and to interpret it we interpret the left operand minus the right operands interpretation to interpret a variable here is where that map is actually being used which is passed in all of the interpret methods so this is the necessary evil okay uh, basically uh, in variable we are passing the string name while uh, constructing a variable so each variable has a name and in this map of string and expressions we have uh, corresponding to each variable we have an expression so in general in general it can be a value so if we do not find we do a variables dot get name we try to find uh, a variable with the given name in our map if we do not find it we uh, assume that it is left uninitialized and we return simply return 0 or number 0 whatever it is 
if we find our variable in our uh, given table we see that variable or in general the expression and try to interpret it so let's say a 2 is there and we find 2 so we do a 2 dot interpret and when we do 2 dot interpret uh, basically it will be new number 2 new number 2 so number 2 dot interpret uh, basically this method will be called this one and it will give us the literal value of 2 hence uh, final value of uh, a will be evaluated as 2 ok so this is how we are evaluating the expression so uh, let's see a driver class as an example uh, this is basically a driver class interpreter example we have an interpreter string from what we saw in the last lecture um, we convert it into a object and as soon as we convert it into an object we uh, try to interpret it but before that we have to construct a map of variables so w is mapped to new number 5 x is mapped to 10 and z is equal to 42 and we try to interpret this sentence whatever this sentence is w x z minus plus it can also have uh, something like w x 10 minus plus easily it can easily have that so it can be like that also so it can be numbers variables minus plus all of these type of sentences can be there according to our initial grammar which is this one expression can be plus minus variable number anything okay so finally we try to get out the result we call sentence dot interpret whatever sentence whatever object we get out of the string so this is the object form of this expression so th on this object we call interpret method we try to interpret it that is we try to evaluate this sentence and whatever we get we print it so this interpret method is uh, written here whatever object we get we call interpret on it that's the interpret method so hope you understood this interpreter pattern which is uh, used to evaluate the value of a sentence of a given language so that given language is represented by a grammar generally so this is interpreted by thank you sir